Good evening. I'm Alice Gaynor. And I'm Dick Brennan. Welcome to the News at 9. A gruesome discovery in a Long Island park. The bodies of four young men found violently beaten. And police suspect it's the latest attack by a notorious street gang. A gang suspected of murdering several teenagers in the area. TV 1055's Valerie Castro is live near the scene with more for us. Valerie? Alice, Suffolk County police are now working closely with the FBI to solve this case. You can see they are still here tonight on the scene, working to gather every last shred of evidence in this violent crime. The wooded area surrounding the Clayton Avenue Community Park, now a crime scene where Suffolk County police say the bodies of four young men and teens, ages 16 to 20, were discovered Wednesday night, all of them brutally murdered. The manner in which they were killed is consistent with the modus operandi of MS-13, extreme violence uh, utilizing sharp objects. The MS-13 gang presence in this area has been prolific and blamed for other unsolved murders and disappearances in the area. In this case, the family members of two of the victims arrived at the scene after learning of the deaths. They tell us Jorge Tigre and Justin Lavacura are among the dead. I'm really worried because my mom, she's the, she's the one who's suffering right now. It probably was a target to um, the gangs. Like especially here in Central Isa. Hoping to provide a sense of security in the community now troubled by the violence, guardian angels are making their presence known. The message is, if you see something, let law enforcement know. And the streets, parks, and other areas, it belongs to them. It doesn't belong to the gangs. Investigators recovered bags of evidence from the scene early Thursday. While solving this case would be a victory for police, it might only make a dent in the overall problem. This is a tragic event. Uh, this is uh, certainly, uh, to, the extent, if, to the extent that this is MS-13, uh, this is certainly a reminder of how violent they are, uh, that they're still here. Uh, we still have a lot of work to do. And police have announced a $25,000 cash reward for any information leading to an arrest. Reporting live in Central Islip, Valerie Castro, TV 1055. Valerie, thank you.